Sammy, a point here against uh, Wilson at the Aspect Arena. What were your thoughts on the game? I see it as a point game. I see two sides going for it, no one holding back. For the first 20 minutes, you know, we started brilliantly. For our pressing, our energy levels were spot on. Scored a great goal. And then after that, we say it every week, you know, the clearances don't go in the right areas. They're under hit. You know, they invite pressure. You know, we switch off for their goal. And then second half, weren't really much in it. Quite a few chances each end, but you now we switch off again. Second phase, like we did before when we played them. You know, but credit to the boys. You know, we made a couple of subs and they really made a difference when they come on today. Green has put a liver ball in and you know, Wally does what he does and, and put it in the back of the net. See this as a point gained with results, you know, going our way today. So, you know, I'm pleased. And of course, Wally's got two goals off the, off the back of a uh, red card against Hemel Hempstead, I believe it was, or someone a while back. It's good to see him back on the score sheet and uh, two, you must be quite pleased with him, yeah? Yeah, definitely. I thought he was thought he was excellent today. He led the line well. Their two centre halves was, was in a game. You know, we just had a platform to build from. The last three games, we, you know, we missed him. We never really had a, had a platform to build, but he's an handful. Scores goals at this level. I'm delighted for him. Worked hard to get back in the team. You know, it's, it's always difficult for him, you know, sitting out and watching the team play, but no, I thought he was excellent today and no, just shame that he didn't get his action. Of course, uh, Billericke, um coming up next Saturday. It's a tough fixture, you know, they're no side, uh, they're not an easy side despite, you know, recent results. Um, how are you and the lads prepared for the game? We've got a full training week. Um, you know, we'll, 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 we'll assess the injuries. We've got a small squad, so we've got to be careful and who we look after. We'll have We'll, we'll sit down and, and watch watch Billy Ricky game and see how, what we're going to do against them. You know, it's going to be a tough game. You know, they're one of the favourites to go up, but it's a good game for us. It's a good game to see us going going for the win. Listen, we're a tough we're a tough nut to crack here. Only been beaten twice all season. One in the FA Trophy, one in the Cine League. So they're coming to a ground that is, is very difficult to get results, and we're pleased with this, and we can build on this now. Yeah, and of course, um, going forwards now, some, uh, th there are a number of tough uh, fixtures coming out. Of course, Dartford's approaching as well. Is it going to be, um, you know, uh, I say a tough period, but then are the lads excited for it, really? Yeah, definitely. If you're not excited, you shouldn't be playing football. We had three games with this one, you know, that, that you know we needed to pick up points. You know, not, can we stay unbeaten is, is the aim. Um, we've, it's a good start, but they're the games you want to you want to be involved in. If you want to get promoted, you've got to match these teams and you've got to be able to, to go to, go to that next level. You know, they're good games, but, you know, we look forward to that. It's a, it's a good base to build build on from, from today. We'll have a look at the squad over the next couple of days. It's an under-23s game. Um, it's me and Walt um, here on here on Tuesday, so some of the first team will get a run out. You know, give us a chance to look at the youth as well coming through. So, you know, it's, it's an exciting time for the club because you know we're still in them playoffs. We're still we're still trying to bridge the gap between the playoffs and the last play. But you know, I'm pleased with today. I'm pleased with the character of the squad to, to go behind. You know, and, and to come back. You know, with an instant response was was, was pleasing. And lastly, just to add on, uh, in regards to the fans, um, they came out in large numbers today. Of course, the youth team were here to um, you know pay their respect to uh, recently past Natalie Norris but um, overall you know the crowd was uh, superb today you know and really of course you got to mention it also had a great following it must have been a really kind of encouraging game for both sides must have yeah listen it was a great atmosphere to be involved in now on the side both sets of fans getting behind each other it's great to see that so many youth come down today and, and watch the first team play you know it really gives a lift to the players the manager and also also the committee um, so you know this club's moving in the right direction one step at a time we need these fans week in week out especially these home games eight home games left so we're going to need them fans to turn out week in week out and, and try and see us to try and hit them playoffs. We can hit them playoffs, and it's been an unbelievable achievement. But you know, we've got to take one step at a time. We've got a massive game next week, and we need all them fans, we need all them youth, the youth of, of Concord to come out and really make it a really special atmosphere. Perfect. Thank you for the time, Tony. Cheers. Cheers.